And what is going on guys? I am Nintendo Boy and I have been on YouTube for over 11 years. But today and even yesterday, I believe it was yesterday is the exact time, we hit 100 subscribers. I wish I cannot thank you all enough for this because I've been on this platform for so long and I probably should have had 100 subscribers um, a long time ago, but later on I'll get into why I didn't have 100 subscribers like a few years ago. But it is insane that all the stuff I've done over the years has finally paid off and we are now at 100 subscribers and we are well on our way to getting maybe even a thousand subscribers. Be me th now, this video was originally just going to be me thanking you all and doing something special, but I think I'm going to take it in a different direction. I think instead I'm going to talk a little bit about my history on YouTube and where I was at the start of my channel and what happened to my channel at a certain point and how I tried to bring it back and it seemed to actually work. When I wanted to the beginning of my YouTube career, or at the very least when I wanted to start YouTube, um, I originally, um, originally on YouTube, all I did, and none of this is available now, I've like unlisted all these old videos because they are quite unfavorable in my opinion. I mean, I'm the one that did make them. But basically, when I started YouTube, I wanted to make plush videos. Now, a lot of people probably already know what I'm talking about, you know, Mario plushies and all that, and you hold them up to the camera and you talk as them, and they do a bunch of wacky shenanigans. A lot of people, you know, do that to this day still, like Super Mario Logan, except doesn't exactly use Mario toys anymore. And, um,. A few others that are actually pretty popular as well. I mean, they're probably going to get even more popular because, like, like how I said, Super Mario Logan doesn't exactly use anything Mario anymore during to, to certain reasons. But uh, back then, I was inspired by different plush YouTubers because I didn't watch Super Mario Logan. I didn't watch anyone like that. I watch two. The, there are two key YouTubers that I used to watch back then, and they were. Spin Dash Pro, I believe. I'm putting. I'll put their YouTube channels on the screen because I believe they're still on YouTube. They just don't really upload anymore. And the other was Super Dent Bros. And Super Dent Bros is definitely the key one here because I did Mario plush videos. Meanwhile, Spin Dash Bros is obviously a Sonic plush channel. But a lot of our plots and whatnot actually came from them. Because yeah, that's the honest thing here is that we basically copied them. And I guess they didn't feel that bad about it because I believe on one of my old videos, Super Demperos actually commented because I think there is a feature back then on YouTube where you could like tag people and they might see the video because I don't know how they could have found that, but I think that's probably what it was. Maybe we like tag them or something like that and they must have found it in like their notifications and they were like, hey, that's kind of cool which was super awesome era of my channel at the start came the downfall era of my channel at the start because after a couple of those videos we uploaded still like I uploaded reviews of plush toys I mean I still I, when I was trying to bring my channel back I actually did that too but I'll get into that later um yeah so I did some reviews of plush toys and then I we, we did some more plush movies and stuff like that, you know, with Mario characters. But then after that, it was pretty much over at that point. Like, we stopped uploading a long, for a long time. And thing is, we actually had some videos planned. Like, I remember I was going through my old stuff one day, and apparently we had a few videos that we didn't make. And one of them was called Mario Gets Rich, and the other one was uh, Luigi's Kids or Mario Has Kids Part 2 which is a video we released, or it was called something like that, and part two is supposed to be about Luigi and baby Luigi, but we didn't make it, even though I think we were going to record it in the same night as the first part, but I guess we just didn't do it. Nothing else coming out, I basically went on a long videos, and nothing else coming out, I basically went on a long hiatus, and I think that's what ultimately hurt my channel the most, because that's so many years of YouTube down the drain that I could have um, tried to get in on like you know there are a lot of trends or a lot of trendy games and all that that were really popular back then that I could have probably done videos on and possibly gotten a lot of you know feedback on all that but because I didn't I just didn't care I guess 
I mean, even I, I remember I do remember saying I want to come back to YouTube, and then I never did. Like, I remember I think I said it probably in like 2013 and 2014. I'm like, I want to come back to YouTube, and I never did. I uploaded this review of a or maybe late 2015 uh, where I uploaded this review of a plush review, like a lot of my other ones, of a Darth Vader plush of some sorts. I forgot what it was, but I have it on the screen right now. And that was like, it was like a, one of my weirdest videos, and it's actually one of my most popular ones too, as a matter of fact, where I basically just hold it up to the camera and I turn it a bunch of different ways, and that was basically it. And somehow it is one of my most popular ones to date. At that point, that was pretty much it, because one of the key re that was pretty much it, because one of the key reasons I stopped uploading around that time when I uploaded that Darth Vader video was because I was in the middle of moving, or like we were planning that we had to move at one point, so I didn't really have time to upload any other videos. And uh, when I moved to this new house, then I still didn't upload any videos until one night where I uploaded a Batman toy review. Weird, I just randomly one night decided like, you know what, I need to start one night decided like, you know what, I need to start uploading YouTube videos because a lot of people that I knew at that time were doing YouTube and it kind of motivated me to start uploading again. And so I started with something that I basically started my entire channel with, which was a plush review. And at that point, uh, it's not like it's not like it was like an immediate success because I still had like 20 something subscribers but it was still a comeback and it was even more of a comeback when i started uploading these like i i don't know what it is apparently a lot of my older youtube stuff is just weird to me i don't know what it is i think it's just weird to me but anyways i uploaded these short slash quick videos which are basically me just showing off what games i owned on each console and fun fact, the Game Boy one, because I did make one on the Game Boy, the reason why there was four games there and not like a bunch is because I got those the same day of recording. Like I got those on that date and then at nighttime I was like, you know what, I'm going to record me just showing these games to the camera and then I'm going to upload it. And that was another thing I did really weird is that I didn't have an, a consistency in uploading. I just uploaded every second of every day. Because I'm sure most of you know, I'm at least I hope most of you know, around this time as well is when I started doing gaming videos, and the game I started all that with was Five Nights with Mac Tonight. They weren't even like the regular Five Nights at Freddy's games, and it was with, but I was a big fan of these games, even though they weren't even like the regular Five Nights at Freddy's games, and the you know those were games that I could have played back in 2014 and it could have been a moderate success but it doesn't matter anyway because we're here in the present and I still play games you know like that but anyways you know with Final Fantasy tonight that series did kind of kick off my channel quite a bit like I got a lot of views on those videos and Around the time I did Finance with Mac Tonight Remastered, Finance with Mac Tonight 3 came out, and then I played that day one, and I uploaded like five videos on it in like two days, or like even like a day, because I was just that excited to play it, and I didn't want to waste any time. But I didn't edit back then, so they were all very poor videos, to say the least. Like, they were just pretty crappy, but I, I had voiceovers in them. Except for my first Finance Mac, Finance with Mac Tonight video, like I didn't say anything in that. And I was even trying to do a bunch of videos where I didn't talk in anything. Like I had a Baldi video, I had a Finance Mac Tonight 2 video where I didn't talk at all, like there are no commentary videos. And I've always contemplated if I should bring those back just to have like quick uploads, but I don't think it's really worth it since I could just sit down and play any game. If I wanted to with commentary, Smack Tonight. I did have the Predicting Mario Strikers video. The Predicting Mario Strikers video um, at some point, which is actually another one of my most viewed videos, which is pretty blasphemy to me because personally, I kind of hate it. Like, it's basically me showing this art piece of Smash Brothers at the camera, like the word Smash Brothers Ultimate at the camera, and I'm just randomly talking about things that I want to see in a Mario Strikers game. And if I did another one of those, I would definitely uh, do a better job, at, at to say the least.
at these prediction kind of things. The resurrection era, as I call it, or I like to refer to it as, like the comeback, resurrection, like the comeback, resurrection era. I'm going to move into the present day, which is basically what you're watching now. And a lot of the stuff from the resurrection era is still kind of here. You know, I play FNAF fan games like Fiance Warriors. I know a lot of people in the Fiance Warriors community, which is really cool. And, you know, a lot of people from there do watch my content, and I think that's pretty great. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm actually at 100 subscribers, thanks to that community. So, a lot of people that I know, that I've met over the time, uh, you know, found my channel, they've promoted it. You know, it's it was, it was a nice feeling knowing that I might be able to come back from the ashes of what I left my channel in back in, like, the 2012s or, like, you know, the mid 2010s and i'm hoping to keep doing that even to this day because we are now at at the time of recording this 101 subscribers so we got one more and i'm hoping to get a lot more in the future well with that recap kind of out of the way this video is kind of going to get wrapped up here but before I do, I kind of want to show off some teasers of projects in the works, or more more like one project in the work, and two other things that I'm hoping to do in the future that I think are quite interesting and I hope to do, and not just leave in the dust. So, here is the first teaser for one of the bigger projects that I have going on. Yep, I tried to allude to that earlier. I don't know if anyone caught it, but yes, I am doing another prediction series video where I'm going to be predicting stuff and I and telling ideas for Tomodachi Life 2. And it's not exactly done yet, but I'm definitely working on it. I have like a script being written about it. Uh, I have certain edits and other clips uh, recorded for it. I just need to record me talking about this entire video and what I want to see and then I can put it all together and it should be done. Alright, these next two are going to be live streams that I'm going to be doing but I think they're definitely bigger and more different live streams than I've really done before and I think they should be quite good. So, here's the first one. Yep, I'm a definitely a sucker for Smash Brothers, and speaking of Smash Brothers, you know, I, I again, I kind of talked about Smash Brothers earlier. Um, I'm going to be playing through the Substance Emissary from Smash Brothers Brawl, and I think it'll be quite fun because I love Subspace Emissary, and I hope to actually sit down and play through it all the way through. But then there's also the Great Maze, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. But I hope to at least get far in it, because I definitely know a lot of the ins and outs of the mode. Alright, this is the last teaser, but as I alluded to earlier with talking about FNAF fan games and where my gaming side of this channel got its start, I think a lot of you are going to like this one. So, with this last teaser coming up, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. This literally means a lot to me, and I hope to get at least 100 more, because we're on our road to 200. And I will see you guys next time. Bye byes When the clock strikes Half past six, babe Time to head for